The next phase of the process is to log in to Team Center Express as the designer. The process that the project manager began automatically sent the project Superblend to the designer's inbox. Notice the inbox is marked with red, notifying the designer that new information is available. Within the task to perform, the designer can review information related to Superblend project, such as process instructions or the components that make up this project. Now at this point the designer can review the motor specifications through a provided Word document. User can easily open the Word document in the viewer by double clicking on it. He can then change the viewing options to better visualize the document and obtain any information needed for this particular project. Now for more detailed information the designer may want to open the markup created by the project manager to see the change requirements for this project. Note he can look at which assembly he needs to be opening up and also what he needs to actually do within that assembly. Now after the design change information is obtained we can directly open the new mixer assembly in SolidEdge by double clicking on the data set. Within Team Center Express, the dataset automatically starts in its native environment, in this case, Solid Edge. Notice on the left, Solid Edge provides Edge Bar, which gives the user feedback about the managed data the designer is working with. So let's get to work and make the changes required in this project. First, let's focus on the motor assembly by changing our display configuration. Then, we can area up on the design. Now the first thing we need to do is to replace the armature assembly. Solid Edge offers tools to easily achieve this task and because we're working with managed data we want to search for all possible replacements within the database. Notice TeamCenter Express Search allows the user to key in different types of information and find the desired components. In this case, we select the appropriate replacement, which is a family of assemblies, giving the designer the ability to select from several size options. Now for this project, we're going to select the 250 watt armature. Because the size of the armature has changed, we also must adjust the size of the front frame, which cradles the armature. To do this, we can use what we call peer variables, which allows the user to select from the top level assembly a part variable that drives the part model and change the spread distance between the two posts for the beaters, in this case from 16 to 18 millimeters. Once this change is made and the dialog closes, the system automatically regenerates the rest of the Solid Edge components that are related to the frame because Solid Edge is an associative system and continually monitors the design process. The drive gears also need to be updated because the current gears no longer fit the worm gear. Again, we search in the Team Center database for the replacement to make our design changes complete. Once we select this particular part, it's going to go ahead and replace that gear in our assembly. But notice how Solid Edge recognizes that there are two gears that need to be updated and prompts the user to update one or both gears.